Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to sync contacts from your iPhone to your iPad using an app called DMOP iPhone Manager. Here it is. This is the look of the app. This app is one of the best iTunes alternatives. There are lots of amazing features that this app provides, which we will talk about later in the video. But our main focus today is how to sync contacts from iPhone to iPad, which is this one here. Of course, there are many ways that you can use to sync contacts from iPhone to iPad, one of which is using iCloud. However, iCloud will require you to sign in with two-factor authentication every device you want to sync contacts with, which is time-consuming and quite Quite annoying as well. However, with the method that I'm about to show you, you only need to do it once with the main device and you can sync those contacts to as many devices as you want to, not just iPad. For example, from iPhone to iPad, from iPhone to iPod Touch, or from iPhone to iPhone, which is a click of a button. So how do we do that? In order to do that, you just simply click on contact here and it will ask you to plug in your device. In this situation, is your main device. So I'm going to plug in my iPhone now. And here, what it says, Dear Mob can't read full contact information as the iCloud is turned on. Please turn off to view the contact information. So we just follow this step right here, which is going to the settings. And then we go to iCloud right here. And you said they'll go to iCloud, we need to go to contact as well, so we have to click on see all. So right here we can see contacts. We need to turn that off. And it provides us with two options here, keep on my iPhone or delete from my iPhone. So we just follow this step here, which is to keep on my iPhone. And you're done. Now we we'll click OK. We'll wait for it. Okay, now it shows us all these contacts. So what you need to do next is click on this box right here to select all of these contacts. So there are 181 contacts in my contact list. Once you select that, click on this icon right here, which say quick backup and restore. Click on that. And here, it will back your iPhone or iPad contact into the computer. You can also click on encrypt your contact backup as well if you do not want anyone else to have access to it without a password. But in my case, I do not want to do that. So I leave it untick and I click on backup now. Just wait for it. And it's done. Now if we go to restore contact, you can see there's one backup that we have just done at the moment right here. So now what we need to do is just unplug your main device and then plug in any device you want to sync the contact into. So in my case, it's the iPad. So I just plug in my iPad right here. To sync the contact that we just backed up at the moment, click on contact. Now you can see that on my iPad, there's no contact at all, not even one. And if you take a look at my iPad screen right here, if you go to contacts, as you can see, there's nothing there. So in order to get the contacts that I've just backed up and sync it to my iPad, what I need to do is click on this icon again, saying click backup and restore. And then we go on to restore contact. Click on this one here that we just backed up at the moment. Click on restore now. We just wait for it. So as you can see here, all the contacts are here, 181 new contacts, they all put new here. So what we need to do is to click on sync and it will start syncing from the contact list from your iPhone to your iPad. So let's click on sync now. And as you can see on my iPad screen, it's already showing the contact, but we have to wait for the synchronization to complete first. Done. Succeeded 181 contact. And if you take a look at my iPad screen right here, you can see all of these contacts are from my iPhone at the moment. So again, with DMOP iPhone Manager right here, the contact you store in this app can be used to be synced to multiple iOS devices. You can just unplug your iPad right now and plug in another device, let's say iPod Touch or another iPhone, go through the same process and you can sync it into that device quickly and conveniently, which is very cool. And again, like I told you from the beginning of the video, that this app not just only provides the ability to sync contacts from your iPhone to iPad, but there are lots of other amazing features that this app provides. For example, if I plug in my iPhone back into it, what you can do is you can actually transfer your photos back and forth between your device and your computer. You can back them up right here, for example. 
in case you have taken many photos and your iPhone storage is low and you want to back this photo or videos onto your Mac so that you can delete it from your phone to save storage you can just use this app and back up quickly and for music of course you can back up music from your iPhone onto your Mac and also vice versa which means you can also transfer offline music onto your iPhone or other iDevices to listen offline without having to use Apple streaming music service you can just copy offline music into your music app and you can listen offline from there video and movies as well you can do the same so you can add movies into the movies app which is right now called apple tv you can just copy in movies into it and watch movie offline from there backup in the store you can also do a full backup of your device so that if in case you want to restore your device you still have your backup right here you don't have to worry about losing your data so files here is the files app on your phone whatever in your files app you can copy it out by clicking on export right here and there are also other cool features like data security so for this one here you can also encrypt or decrypt any files that you want to so only people with the right password can access your file podcast you can copy any podcast into your podcast app and then you can listen offline from there books as well ibooks you can do the same with epub or pdf or audio books for ringtone here of course you can add your customized ringtone into your iphone to be used as a ringtone and this app also allows you to edit any mp3 file and turn it into your own customized ringtone as well which is really cool for app you can install new app into this you can also uninstall the app through this as well you can uninstall one app or multiple apps like this click on uninstall it will remove all of it which is very convenient you can also back up your sms you can also export or import your calendar bookmark or even turn your ios device like your iphone or ipad into a flash drive i would really recommend you trying this app see how it works it's really cool with those features right here this app is really a great replacement to itunes in many ways that itunes cannot do this app can do it with ease so if you're interested in this app all the links are in the description you can check it out so that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video